Hello, we are in timer operations again. At this video, we'll see another timer which is called retentive on delay timer. Then some instructions will be told, which can start and reset timers. Also we'll see, how we can change preset time parameter of timers. Finally we'll do a project with factory IO. Let's start with retentive on delay timer, or time accumulator. This instruction is used to accumulate time values, when its IN input is activated. We can notice this timer with TONR syntax. It means timer on with reset. Because this timer has a reset input. Others its inputs outputs are like previous timers. Now let's see how this timer work. First suppose there are three pulse at the IN input. When the signal state at the IN input changes from 0 to 1, the time measurement is executed. The time values are increased and accumulated when the IN input has signal state 1. For the first pulse, the ET value start from 0 to 5 seconds. When the signal state at the IN input changes from 1 to 0, ET output holds elapsed time which is 5 seconds. So when the second pulse reach to the IN input, the ET value start from 5 seconds to 7.5. When the third pulse appears, and the ET value reach to preset time, timer activate the Q output. The Q parameter remains set to 1, even when the signal state at the IN parameter changes from 1 to 0. Timer holds its ET value, and also the Q output remain on, until the timer, receive a positive signal edge at R input. Now pay attention. When both IN, and R input of this timer are activated simultaneously, input R takes priority over IN. So at this state, timer will be reset. Well, let's test this timer in TIA software. If you remember, we're using a template which able us to use factory I.O. beside PLC SIM. The first block in network 1 is for this purpose. So let me to insert a retentive on delay timer in the next network. Here I have a virtual PLC, I click on MRES to reset its memory. Then save, compile, and then transfer this program. Pay attention, because of my template and first network, I can use factory I.O., and also change input contacts by right click, as you see. Otherwise, we must use SIM, or force table to change inputs addresses. Try to work with this timer and learn it, like me.
Well, let me exit from simulation and see my program in FBD language. As you see, the FBD and ladder symbol are similar together. Now we're going to see other timer instructions. These instructions are placed here of TIA software. At first, there are four instructions to start four timers, which we have seen them before. These start an inserted timer with a specified preset time. For example, suppose we've inserted a on delay timer. With this program, I can start timer 1, from another network, with preset time 10 seconds. Also this is its FBD symbol. Ok, here are reset and load preset instructions. First instruction is used to reset timers, like this program, which can reset timer 1 with I0.0 .0 address. Pay attention, two sides of this instruction have a same RLO. So if the I0.0 .0 address is activated, the timer 1 is reset and also Q0.0 .0 will be on. With second instruction, we can change preset time of timers. Like this program. Alright, how this instruction work? See this timer? As you know, every timer use a data block, which is used to store its data, such as its preset time. So timer parameters can be changed with a specified address of related data block. Let's see three last instructions in TIA software, others are similar. Alright. In this case, I've created a new project. I didn't use my template which was suitable for TIA software. So I don't have any blocks in the first network. Now let me insert a retentive on delay timer. In the network 2 I use reset timer. Here I must select a use timer. In next network, let me to use two contacts with to load preset time.
For this instruction, we must select a use timer, and a value for preset time. So first line will change preset time to 5 seconds, and now, I write a program, to change my timer preset time to 15 seconds. Now let me test this program. As you see, here, I can't change state of this input, unlike previous program. Because in this case, I don't use my template which has been designed to use factory IO. I have to use sim or force table. Let's test it with sim table. As you see, with I0.0 I can activate this timer. With I0.1 contact in the next network, I can reset my timer. Now see the third network. The preset time of my timer is 10 seconds. But with I0.2 and I0.3 in the third network, I can change its preset time to 5 or 15 seconds. Alright, all timer instructions have been told. 
In the next video we're going to do a project to use them in a industrial process. Thanks for watching.